Well, gospel was a pretty amazing experience because, uh, first of all, getting through customs uh, was wonderful because uh, <laughs> I, I forget whether this was the Hajj tour or the gospel tour, but I know we had to bring uh, tripods and cameras, and uh, I was traveling with the mother of my second son, Polina Klimovitskaya, who uh, was originally from Moscow, and she helped me, you know, uh, uh, grace the hand of uh, our customs agent to get these, uh, this equipment through, and uh, that was really pretty great. And then when we uh, got to Moscow, uh, there I was with 50 black gospel singers, black Pentecostal gospel singers. I don't think Moscow has seen 50 black people uh, running down the street together <laughs> ever, and they were just then, oh my God, <laughs> you know, amazed, and going down to the subway, everybody was going like this, like this, you know, so um, we just didn't know how we would be received, and uh, then uh, we opened uh, at the Chekhov Festival, and uh, the Russian audiences, they seemed to be enjoying themselves, but they were sitting there very nicely and smiling, and, smiling. and then somebody, uh, somebody got up there, Russian, say, it's fine if you respond. It's okay if you clap. You can talk back to the stage. That's, that's customary. You know, they'll say something, and you'll say, ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, tell me more, tell me more. And so little by little, the audience started to loosen up. And then Atlanta got up and started dancing, which was fantastic. And that really electrified the stage. And then uh, other people started getting up. Ginkas got up and started dancing with her. And then other people got up, and pretty soon everybody was clapping and dancing, and all the rock and rollers were pumping away. What we wanted to do is give it the feeling of a rock and roll concert. This was a blues concert, American style. Gospel music, uh, as uh, people who are interested in this type of American music know, is the same roots as rock and roll, and the same roots as blues, and the same roots as rhythm and blues. And it all comes from the same source. And so uh, it's just that uh, certain music became secular and certain music became uh, ecclesiastical, but it's the same music. <laughs> they just uh, redefine the lyric instead of singing to one, a lover, you singing to Christ. You know, other than that, it's the same stuff. So um, we had a, a fabulous time up there, and the reception was really beautiful. And uh, I couldn't believe that we got away with, with everything, that, that people enjoyed it, and the reception was really good. And I think that I was really uh, very, very uh, uh, surprised and pleased that Russian criticism was really very astute about it. And it was the first uh, bunch of critics that precisely labeled it a primitivist interpretation of Greek tragedy. And they were right on, because that's exactly what we tried to do. And nobody had ever, you know, really put the, uh, the rubric exactly on there uh, as precisely as the Russian critics did. And so it was a great big success, and we were extraordinarily happy. And, uh, you know, gospel's still going along. We were just in Greece uh, last summer at the Acropolis been uh, at the Apollo at Harlem and uh, it's amazing it's just in his 26th year with almost well let's say 70 percent of the original cast uh, most of them were still alive still performing